I live in St. John's, Newfoundland. It's home. I was having some blurred vision. The doctor there said, you know, go get it checked. He uh, looked down and he said, I'm sorry, but he's seen a tumor. And he said that it was cancer. My life was turned upside down within minutes. I knew that there was a cancer center in St. John's. I assumed that's where I would be linked into and I would be treated there. They told me, no, this type of cancer was rare, so I would have to go to Toronto. I'd have to drive maybe 10 hours to the ferry, cross the ferry, drive again. I think it would probably take three days, and then three days back home. I can only imagine the, the amount of money, thousands and thousands of dollars, that I didn't have. I spoke to the doctor's office, and they told me, you should call Hope Bear. They can help you. We gave them the appointment information, and we had a call back. Okay, this is when you're leaving. Your return ticket is booked, and they sent the itinerary to us and we were ready to go. Within a few days, we were on a plane and we were heading to Toronto. When I look back at that first flight, it's one of the things that stands out to me about my journey. It's been a long road and a hard road. When I think about Hope Bear and what they've done, I just get this feeling, a good feeling that people are good and there's people out there when you're struggling and they're more than willing to help. It's probably saved my life. My tumor's stable and it hasn't spread. And when I tell people that, they say, you're so lucky that you can go there. And I know I am, I know I am. And it's because Hope Air flies me there.